Hi guys, this is Desktop Tech Bros. In this video, I will be giving you a tutorial on how to create and run queries and how to create and run reports. First off, you want to go to Create. Then go to Query Design. There is a Show Table. This is where you input entities from the tables you want to input. So if I want to input some the shoe number, go to Shoes, Add. Select the shoe number. I have to close that first. To write the shoe number into the field. I'll also add the fit, the size range, and the price. I want to get something from another table, so I'll show table again. Let's get who buys it, so I'll add the customers in. Alright, the customer name. their address and the telephone number I also want to know what week it was it was in so I'm going to select um, um, sales I think it was nope order lines yeah I'm going to drag a week I want to select week 2, so I'm going to put into the criteria 2. I'm going to sort shoe number by ascending, that means alphabetically up to down, or numerically up to down. Um, customer name is also going to be ascending. Week I don't need to. Now the price I'm going to do a sum on. I don't really know what it is, but I know you do it with the numbers in access. Please excuse me if you know better. Right, so I'm going to take the sum off. I don't really know what it is. Take the totals off. And I'm going to run it. And here you find. I know the data. That was specified in the query. I'm going to cut that down a little bit by being a little more precise. So I'm going to go click view, go back to design view. Let's say the size, uh, the fit is a E. Run that. And there you have less. So I've got week two with a fit of C. Now, I'll save this query as we've done it. I'll just save it as test1 as a query. You must put. Most people like to put QRY, which stands for query, after their query to know that it is a query. So I'm going to click OK then. I can't do that. I'll just put that. that. Okay. Right now I'm going to do a report, so I'm going to go on to Report Wizard. Select the query you want and input all of them, unless you don't want all of them, of course. Now this is how you're going to um, what it's sorted by. So I'm going to keep it by week, which is in the order lines table. Click next. Right, this is like headings so week will now be a heading and for all of it is week two so there will only be one two displayed so I'll keep that like that grouping options don't need to do that now I've already specified the shoe number is ascending so I don't need to do that um, what customer name I'll put the size range no, I'll put the fit as ascending. This doesn't really matter, it's just the way you like to view how it is laid out. I would recommend putting on landscape so all of it fits in the report. If you don't mind how big the report is, you're not going to print it out. You can uncheck that and then it will automatically go. If you want to um, 
make it fit on an A4 piece of paper, click adjust the field so it fits on the page. And click next. Well, I'm going to uncheck that because I'm not going to print it off. So what are you going to call your report? So I'm going to call it test2 RPT report. I'm going to preview the report finish. And here we have the report. As you can see, week 2, only 1, 2. There we go. And that's how to create a query and run a query and create a report and run a report. Thank you very much, Desktop Tech Pros.